Dr. Tanya Elliott, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show live out of Dallas, Texas. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. I want my audience to know I'll be speaking to Dr. Tanya Elliott. She's a board she's board certified in allergy and immunology, and she's a healthcare influencer. She wants to know she tell us to feel better together. Don't let the cold knock out your whole family. Dr. Tanya, what are some of the ways to keep our house household healthy this evening because you know if one person gets the cold the rest of us are going down yeah i know all right so i'm going to give you three easy ways to help to prevent a cold number one keep your house a shoe free zone oftentimes we don't think about what's on the bottom of our shoes but believe it or not dirt grime viruses and bacteria so just leave the shoes at the front door Number two, on a similar vein, you want to make sure that as soon as you come home from work or your kids come home from school, hose them down, take a shower, wash off any of the viruses or bacteria you may have picked up throughout the course of the day. So I always say to my patients, never skip a nighttime or evening shower. I know lots of folks love the morning showers. You could keep that too. Just don't skip one when you come home from work or school. And number three, similarly, making sure that you're washing your hands frequently and thoroughly. Those are your professional ideas, and I think they're all good ideas, but how are we really navigating the, the challenges of being sick in our home? What are we doing? All right, well, I'm glad you asked, because a one-poll survey was done, and it showed that more than 50% of people will alert their school or their job when they're sick. 50% of people will monitor their family for symptoms, and then, I actually love this statistic, 71% of people find comfort in shared TV time. So it's like, you know what, we're all sick, let's just sit on the couch together, let's watch some Netflix and kind of just hang out. Let me ask you, and this is a little bit off script, this comes from uh, social media, this comes from Instagram. They want to know, with RSV and COVID still present, how do we tell the difference? It could be tough. The biggest thing you want to do is take a test to rule out COVID, and you can get those point-of-care tests and know within 20 minutes, whereas with the other viruses, you'd have to go to the doctor and get those evaluated for. But either way, a lot of the recommendations are the same in terms of staying home when you feel sick, isolating from other family members, and opting for symptom relief. Dr. Tanya, so what do we do when the first one starts to feel unwell? Because you know, because you can predict what's going to happen. Well, according to that one poll survey, I'll tell you what people do. 70% of people will run to the over-the-counter aisles at the pharmacy. But I don't know if you've ever been there. It could be a very scary place. Um, when used as directed, Delsum products can provide up to 12 hours of long-lasting relief so you can rest and recharge. All right, then. My audience, they love to be informed. Where do they go and get more information in this season that's actually cold season? You can check out www.delsum.com. And then also, you know, don't forget about that chicken soup because it can help to soothe the sore throat and hydrate you as well. Dr. Tanya Elliott, they say you were terrific and they, you have lived up to your reputation. Thanks for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. Oh, thanks for having me. Hi, I'm Valder BB, host of the Valder BB Show. We have over 1,000 videos on ValderBBShow.com and YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. We upload new videos daily. Our site is a modern baby boomer platform with news and information important to boomers. Subscribe to YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow and stay connected as I interview the world's most fascinating people.